All right, so now we are in Asana, and this is the second project management software that we kind of recommend to bloggers. And I'm gonna go through all of the details of it, how it's different from Trello, and kind of why we made the switch. One of the biggest reasons was we found that on working on bigger projects, um, such as courses or product creation, just collaborating on Trello was a little bit harder um, as far as working on the same boards and just collaborating in general. And Asana is much better streamlined for that, which was one of the biggest reasons why we switched. And then also other things like reoccurring tasks was really big for us, uh, especially all of our freelancers. We'll take, for example, Roxanne here. She has tasks that she does every month and like importing subs into ConvertKit, adding new members to our Facebook group, all that type of stuff. She can set up so that it's due every, she can have it repeat weekly, monthly, uh, every other day, and I have tasks like that too. But So we're on the home page here. Here's all your projects that you've worked on recently, and they're all right here. So these are basically the same as the boards in Trello. And each one of these, you kind of can put different colors on them to organize them a little better. You can make them private so only you can see them and not the whole team. And then you have your group members up here. I'm going to go straight into my task, so just like the other view, my workflow in Trello. We have our new tasks up top. We use tags quite a bit to know which project that we're working on, and we can add tags like lifestyle to a blog post. And then I also like to organize by urgent, important, and moderate once again, because I'm always trying to work on the, the tasks and the projects that are going to move the needle with our business and make us more money and help us grow. So I want to make sure that I'm focusing on that stuff first and foremost before moving into the important and moderate stuff. So as you can see, I have a couple things due today. Uh, finish up Million Dollar Shop, create a or finish a course and learn something new. I have that reoccurring weekly, um, just to remind myself to always have that learning mindset as a business owner. And then you can look at their other ones. But inside of each task, you can have more information, such as due date. You can add subtasks. So you can write promote. And you can go through and click when those are done, which is a really nice feature. Uh, continuing on here, we have our inbox. So this is really nice to see what is going on with our entire team. We can see that Roxanne has been importing new subs, uh, all the tasks that we've clicked off. Um, when someone writes an article for us, it'll show that they're done and we can move it on to the editing process. So this inbox is really useful. We use that quite a bit. And then I'm going to go into editorial calendar. So this is not our real editorial calendar. I made a fake one just to give you an example. I don't want to give away all the articles that we're working on coming up here. So up at the top, we have workflows, and we have editing, formatting, and blog posts. So inside of the blog post one, you'll see that we have title, slug, category, main keyword, LSI keyword, so secondary keywords, internal links, and meta description. And then we have the process that we use, writing, editing, review, images, schedule for publication, promotion. So if we click on, let's see here. So this one is an SEO audit. So we're going through and doing all of these and that's in this workflow. So the nice thing is you just come up here, click the three little dots, duplicate task, and then you can move it down into where it needs to go and you'll have all of the information that you need. So nice and streamlined. And you, you can assign who's gonna, who it's gonna work, who is gonna work on it, just like that. So super easy to once Brittany's done with it, she can assign it to the next person in the process and it just makes it really easy. So we have scheduled posts that are scheduled and they are definitely going to get uh, published. We have auditing, audited articles. So these are articles that need auditing and we're going through a whole website audit. So we have a bunch of articles that we're going through in either formatting or SEO auditing, adding new content to just making them much better. Then we have upcoming blog posts that are scheduled way out that we want to make sure get on the calendar, such as seasonal content, um, stuff like that. And then we have our big list of blog ideas again. And then they're all scheduled with nice colors to dictate which category they're going to be going into. 
under social media, we have our tasks that are just basic um, Facebook group tasks, YouTube, uh, Pinterest, making sure that our queue is all scheduled, and checking analytics. So we have a bunch of reoccurring tasks here. We have a section for all of our workflows. Our assets I'm not going to get into, but that's a nice place to keep all of your business assets, um, stuff that you'd keep in Google Drive and have connected here. Some resources and then training. So this is a big one. We have training for anyone that we onboard as a new member of Team Savvy. So the first thing that we would give them is we would design a task and we would just put training and then we would assign the person give them a description on which training modules they need to do. Um, we could even do subcategories if that would help. And they're gonna go through and watch all the videos that they need to watch, get trained up. So it's just a streamlined process where we don't even have to worry about it. We know that they're gonna get the training that they need and all the resources that they have, and they'll be good to go, hit the ground running, and they can get right to work for us. Um, overall, we have found that tra uh, Sana is just I've, I've mentioned it before, just a much better streamlined, better to collaborate, and all of our team members moving over to this have really appreciated it. Uh, the communication is key, and I think communication, when you start outsourcing and growing a team, is critical. So having that good line of communication, and working on projects and tasks together in a streamlined way is super, super important. So like I said, I highly recommend from the start you should be making systems and processes in your business uh, just so you're not having to repeat things that you do over and over. Make a system for them so you can save time and you can focus on the high ROI tasks.